Hello. So if you are unfamiliar with Atramentum Luminous, it is a mod that lets you add glow or emissive color to different parts of your character. And as you may guess from the title of this video, one of those parts is the hair. However, you can also add emissive color to your skin and or your eyes as well, although the process is slightly different. And there is a text guide on those differences that I will show you how to, to find a little bit later. It comes along with the mod and will be in your penumbra folder. But if you are familiar with Atramentum Luminous, there is a a difference here. You may be used to simply editing a single texture. Well, for hair, we actually have to edit both a texture and a material. And then we're going to add a shader to that material and that'll let us give the hair glow. So the first thing that I want to do is get said texture. And in order to do that, I'm going to use text tools. So here we go. As you can see, I'm on Aura Female and Hair 147. But this brings us to the first important note. Hair 147 is a universal hair, which means that the texture is actually going to come from Midlander, not from Aura. And I can show you that here. If I go to textures, you can see that there is not a texture for 147. However, if I were to change the model here to let's say five, then I go to textures, you can see we have a texture for hair five. So that is the important note. If you are using a race specific hair, you want to get the texture from that race. If you are using a universal hairstyle, you want to get the texture from Midlander, and that applies to both male and female. So let's go ahead and grab the texture here. I'm going to go up to Midlander, and then we will scroll down here and grab the texture for hair 147. Now you will see this says material ACC. That is the accessory. There's a little uh, hair tie in the back. We don't want that. We want this material HIR. That is the actual hair. Now to make the hair glow, the texture we need is the multi. So I'm going to click this menu and select multi. And from here, I'm going to click export DDS. And now I can click this little folder icon and that's going to open this up. And here is my texture. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and load it up into Photoshop. Now, what I want to do in this particular instance is just make my highlights glow. And there's a really easy way to do that. And that is just to copy the alpha channel. So the alpha channel of the multi governs where the highlights are. Black is your base color and white is the highlight color. Now, to make this glow, we need to copy or we need to add some color information to the blue channel. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select all of this, hit copy, and then go to the blue channel, and then paste this in. With that said, you don't have to do things like this. You don't just have to pick the highlights. You could, let's say, invert this. So now you would have the, the base color glowing and the highlights not glowing. Or you could undo this and you could draw a crazy thing like that. It's totally up to you. It's just... What I want to do in this case is I want to make the highlights glow. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, again, if you are used to using Atramentum Luminous, you may find this a bit strange. 
the color scheme for hair is inverted from eyes and skin where on those black is glow for hair white is glow now the next thing i want to bring up is that we can adjust the intensity of the glow by adjusting how bright this white is shades of gray are accepted so that's one way you can control it but the other way is actually in game since we are going to be adding a shader to this material we can actually adjust those values so that's a benefit of doing of doing the hair or you can actually use this material method with skin and eyes too but you have you have the ability to fine tune things a bit more because you can do it in game instead of having to constantly adjust your texture so what I'm going to do here is I don't want this to be completely bright white. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the levels down here and I'm going to slide my, my white down about here and we'll go with this, this gray color and we'll call that good. And then I'm going to go ahead and save and our texture is ready to be imported back into text tools. So I will go ahead and click import and there we go. Now we're ready to make our mod pack. So I'm gonna go to mods, create mod pack, standard mod pack. Now here is important point number two. Even though I use Midlander texture, I still want to make my mod pack out of my race, which again is our all female. So make sure that you do that it doesn't matter that we used midlander texture text tools is going to know where to where to get that from so i'm going to go down to hair 147 here it is and i'm going to say select and here i will choose material confirm now again we want this hir we do not want the acc so i'm going to select that say next confirm Final review, and now we can give this a name. So I'll call this, I don't know, Ara F Hair 147 Glow. I don't know. Whatever. And this doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to make it a basic mod pack and say create mod pack. And there we go. Now we can load this into the game. So we'll minimize that and open up Penumbra. Now, as you can see here, I am on the Atramentum Luminous mod. And the important part here is this hair framework. You want to have this set to textures and materials. So after we've made sure that's set correctly, we'll go ahead and load our mod pack. And I'm going to enable it. Now, in order to make this glow, we need to add a shader. So if I go ahead and just redraw my character right now, you can see nothing happens. So in order to add that shader, what we're going to do is go into advanced editing and then this materials tab and we will select our material. We're going to go down to advanced shader resources and then under this G material parameter, we'll, we will expand that and we need to add a new constant. And the constant we're adding is this one right here. It's just a bunch of gibberish, but what we're looking for is this one that ends in D1. That's the important part. You can see none of these, uh, none of these other ones end in D1. So that's just an easy way to identify it. So we'll select that and say add constant. Now we can expand that. And here we have the parameters that I mentioned earlier. So the legacy style of of Atramentum Luminous is to have these values set at one. So just to demonstrate that, we'll put these at one. Now the top value is for glow in basically the daytime or in light areas. And the bottom value is for the glow strength in dark areas. However, they really both work, you know, at, at the same time. 
my understanding is just that one kind of has more influence whether you're in a dark area or a light area at the time. And I'll demonstrate that in a sec. But for now, we'll go ahead and set those at 1, say save to file. And now if I redraw, there we go. We have some glow going on. And as I said, we with this, we can actually adjust the brightness. So let's say I crank this all the way up to five on both of these. And I say save to file. And then go ahead and redraw. There we go. Now my head is lit up like a lantern. And to demonstrate the the fact that both of these parameters are actually active at the same time. Right now, obviously, this is nighttime, but if I were to set this second constant at zero and save to file, you can see that my hair still glows. It's just not as bright. So it gives you some flexibility. You can kind of fine tune th things this way if you want to. Now, that's really it. That's that's how you do it. That's how you make your hair glow. But as I said, I do want to show you where to find the text guide so that you can uh, read about the differences and what you have to do to make your skin and or your eyes glow. So where you find that text guide is in your wherever you store your penumbra mods. And it's going to be in the Atramentum Luminous folder. So we'll scroll down here until we find that. There it is. And this is what you're looking for, this authoring.md. If I click on this and open it up, here we go. We have our authoring manual. And you can see there are different ways to do this. You can do the, the legacy, as it's called, which is textures only. Or you can do what we did here, which is textures and material. And you can see it tells us to add that D1 constant. And then it tells us that the first value is well-lit environments and the second value is dark environments. So this will tell you the differences in, you know, that you need black for irises and skin. Uh, instead of white for hair and etc. So that's where you find the guide. And with that said, that takes care of it. So I hope that this was helpful and you can mess around making your hair glow and have a bit of fun.